All right, here we are with uh, D&D, &D, Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves, which came out like two months ago, but I haven't gotten a chance to review it until just now, purely because I've been so busy with wrapping up my senior year, which I've been saying at the beginning of a few of my videos, but I have about a week left, depending on when you're seeing this. So hopefully my uh, content will be able to come out a lot faster afterwards. But regardless, this is not about my schooling. This is about the newest Dungeons and Dragons film, which I personally really enjoy. Let's get into it. Now this movie stars Chris Pine, Michelle Rodriguez, and Justice Smith. And it was directed by John Francis Daly and Jonathan Goldstein. Overall, I really liked this movie. Uh, I think the actors did an astonishing job, like bringing the characters alive, giving a lot of energy to them, uh, and, and really building the relationships. Now, this movie follows a group of thieves that was disbanded years prior, or at least a year prior to when the movie starts. Um, so they all know each other when they meet back together to uh, basically bring the main character, Chris Pine's character's family back together, essentially, without spoiling too much. I don't know what you would count as a spoiler and what you wouldn't, but that's uh, that's my synopsis of the plot. Now, like I said before, the actors did a great job. I love the characters in this movie. Every single character in this film, whether minor or major, you love. Um, Hugh Grant was fantastic in this movie. I really loved him. He's a really funny actor. Uh, and you wouldn't really anticipate him playing a more villainous character, but he was in this movie, and he was fantastic. I love Hugh Grant. But overall, the movie was really entertaining. It was really funny. There was a lot of jokes in this movie. It definitely had a humorous side to it, but they didn't fall flat like I've seen in a lot of movies. Now, I'm not too experienced in the actual game of D&D I used to play years ago, uh, just for a little while. No, it wasn't much longer than like a month. But, so I have a very limited understanding of Dungeons and Dragons as a game. Uh, but this movie made it very easy to understand. There wasn't like an overt amount of references that would fl completely fly over the head of anybody who didn't really know a lot about it. And if there was, then they did completely fly over my head and I didn't even realize it. Um, and despite that, I did really enjoy the references to the game that I did understand. There was a lot of instances where there was like, where there was like very clear, like game-like rules being discussed. Uh, like this one part where they're trying to like cross like a trick bridge or something like that. And they have to, they go into very specific detail on like what you're supposed to do as if it was like at the dungeon master describing, uh, what you're supposed to do to the players, which I thought was really entertaining. And they did that a few times in this movie where they do things that you would really only see coming from like players playing the game, which I thought was really cool. Now, when I first saw the trailer for this movie, I kind of anticipated like a mixed uh, style of storytelling where it bounced back and forth from like players playing the game uh, and to the actual characters in the game's universe. Uh, I don't know really why I anticipated that. I think it's just because of the D, D community episode to those who know about that but that was not the case the entirety of this film takes place within the universe of Dungeons and Dragons um but it's a really really well like built universe uh, the, the world building was very very solid in this movie and like there's a lot going on and there's a lot to pick up but like the rules of magic for example are pretty well established um different kinds of creatures and 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 different kinds of people and just all this kind of stuff was really well established for people like I said earlier for people who don't really may not understand it as well like me uh to help them understand it and yeah now I intend for this one to be kind of a quick one um especially because I had seen this movie so long ago and I really think it's just about time that I get this review out um, I will give this film, before we get into the spoiler section, an 8 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. Um, it may not have been entirely my cup of tea, but I still really liked it, and I left the theater thoroughly pleased with what I had seen. Now, to get into spoilers, um, the whole movie was built around uh, Chris Pine's character, I forget his name, trying to like bring his wife back to life who who she was killed um in the entire time he, he kind of brings this he 
he puts his motivation as like he's trying to put his family back together he's trying to it's like this this artifact that that can bring somebody back to life of your choosing uh and he tr and he makes it look like he's trying to do it for his family but as he discovers um his daughter never really knew his wife or her mother uh and when he comes to realize that it would be more beneficial for uh Michelle Rodriguez's character to be brought back to life for the daughter because she was more of a mother figure than her actual mother ever would be. Uh, basically, just describing the whole ending, he decides to use, and once he finally gets his hands on the artifact at the end of the movie, I really loved how that was used on Michelle Rodriguez's character rather than the mother. And obviously, that is so, like, obvious. Of, of and you could probably tell it was going to go in that direction ever since like the artifact was uh established and stuff like that but i just really enjoyed how that was executed in the movie basically the whole thing was he put his daughter's needs over his own and it's such it's just like me practically gushing over just part of the movie it's not even like critical of the writing or anything but it's just the way it was done with the characters and everything like that and they just the way it was built up the entire film, because like the daughter was starting to resent him and everything. Uh, I just really enjoyed that. So, so that is what I thought of Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves. Uh, what did you think if you've seen this movie and you'd like to let me know what you thought? Always talk to me in the comments. I'd love to hear your guys' opinions. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. I have been Sean from Atomic Productions. I know this was a quick one but I'm really trying to get these videos out before summer starts and I can really get cranky in with content. So I've been Sean from Atomic Productions. I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of your day. See ya.